I believe I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will distribute the amendment to all members. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment to the amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 6283 as offered by Mr. Lynch of Massachusetts. Without objection, the amendment is considered as read. I reserve a point of order. Uh, Representative Lynch is recognized for five minutes to explain his amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I thank the ranking member. It's good to be working on something where I think there is general agreement uh, between Republicans and Democrats. It's, a, it's refreshing. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this amendment <clears throat> would allow the Inspector General of the Office of, the per of Personnel Management uh, to have full access to information uh, relating to contracts entered into by uh, pharmacy benefit managers, uh, PBMs. The data would include company-wide rebate receipt aging reports, information and methodology used to calculate and allocate rebates, information on average wholesale price, dispensing fees paid, and any methodologies used to calculate additional administrative and service fees, <clears throat> including data from all contracts entered into by PBMs will highlight any discrepancies or unfair practices between the Federal Employees Health Benefit Plan, FEHBP, and other contracts. If the Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan has a contract that is higher than, than others, this amendment will give the IG the ability to review that data. Uh, to this, transparency is essential to ensuring proper oversight of these PBMs. I formally chaired the subcommittee on the federal workforce where we conducted an extensive investigation into the role of these pharmacy benefit managers in prescription drug pricing under the Federal Employees Health Benefit Program. The FEH FEHBP, again, I hate to use these acronyms because people don't understand what they mean. The Federal Employee Health Benefit Plan is the largest employer-sponsored group health insurance program in the world. It covers about 8 million federal employees retirees, former employees, and their family members. It's widely considered the gold standard when it comes to affordable health insurance. For example, in our investigation, we learned that pharmacy benefit managers and drug store combinations that manage 80% of the benefits within the FEHBP was offering its own generic discount program. And under that generic discount program, any person walking in off the street could sign up for only $9.99 and gain access to hundreds of generic drugs. In contrast, we found that a federal employee enrollee and, and the federal government, because we're, we're helping contribute to this, were paying much, much more for most of the drugs on that general discount list. In some cases, $200 more for the exact same drug. So, so get this, a federal employee with insurance paid for by themselves and the federal government on the copay, would be better off taking their insurance card, sticking it in their shoe, and walking in off the street and saying, I'd like to, I'd like to purchase a, a $9.99 discount program. They would be charged, as a stranger, without insurance, they'd be charged less than they would be charged if they walked in with full insurance coverage under FEHBP, it was astounding. So additional oversight and transparency in PBM's contracting is one area where we can find bipartisan agreement. I look forward to adopting this amendment and continuing to work together, uh, together Democrats and Republicans, uh, to help federal employees and, and the American public uh, who are also being ripped off by these PBMs. I, I yield back, thank you. Would the sponsor yield for just a moment? I, 